Hey everybody, Hello. Jonathan and Amanda Texeri here, founders of Waltlin, creators hey. of the Catholic Family Emergency Binder. And that's what we're here to talk with you about today. Mm -hmm. We debuted this binder yesterday for Black Friday, and it has been like hotcakes. We are thrilled uh, to see such a great response from so many of you. Uh, we are going to be running this Black Friday sale until um, through Cyber Monday until Tuesday night. For 29 bucks, you can get our Catholic Family Emergency Binder, and we're going to do a walkthrough right here in this session right now. Yes. And I want to just say shout out to the to you. <laughs> it was a combo of this guy and you. <laughs> uh, we've had this system more or less in place for the last what seven years. Um, since our oldest daughter was born, we've been organizing our papers, if you will. And I told him a few weeks ago that I wanted to create a pretty version of it. Instead of the uh, ever-expanding uh, accordion folder of manila, of random manila pieces envelopes. of paper and envelopes. Not random. They were all, well, they were all, they were organized. Hmm. Um, were they not? They were. <laughs> They Not like just this. didn't look like this. Not and this, like this. I wanted this, and I wanted to make it pretty. And I've been talking with other friends about how they've been wanting something like this. And, you know, in order to share our system with them, we had to kind of put it together you know, it in such a way yep. that would allow others to, to be able to take advantage of it mm -hmm. themselves. And so now we have this yep. beautiful binder that you've put together. So we are running uh, this. You can grab it over at... WalletWin.com slash emergency. Mm -hmm. It's the emergency binder. Uh, and you it's a digital download of everything in here so that you uh, can, you know, print it out the way you want to. You can bind it the way you want to. Maybe you, maybe it's at home. Maybe you work at a school. You know somebody. They have one of those plastic comb Mm -hmm. Binder binding machines, or maybe you, you like it spiral that. bound, yep. or maybe you like it in a, in in one of these in the folders. Old three ring. We give you that option to personalize it that way. Yes, and so uh, so you we'll, we'll look at a bunch of these different worksheets in here, but you also get instructions mm -hmm. for every sheet that's in here. Yes, so you know what it's for, how to fill it out, uh, and how it's going to save your buns. When they need saving. Down the road. We also give recommendations on different uh, ways to actually put the binder together or a waterproof, fireproof box. Mm -hmm. um, so those are all those are all included in there with a welcome from us. Uh, again, this is the, the gift that you never want to give, but that you have to give. And we all have the opportunity to either give our families the gift of peace and mental space when you know an illness should come up or an accident should happen or mm -hmm. god forbid an untimely death um, giving them the task of rooting through mountains of paperwork or hunting down this policy or that bank account information that's a, an added burden that takes away from their ability to just be present uh, or to grieve or whatever they need to be doing and mm -hmm. focused on in a time of crisis they if you, we add extra burdens onto their back, it's going to not allow them the space they, they need and deserve in that time. So mm -hmm. that is why we put together this binder. That is the purpose here. Uh, and you will sleep better at night. I know I sure do, knowing that if something happened to both of us, or even one of us, that you could take this binder and just kind of pick up, seamlessly move forward as well as you could. Mm -hmm. And if it was both of us, that our family and, and friends could look at this and know how we run our family and all the little nuances and details they need to manage all of our affairs. Yes. And you might think, oh, well, this is like the funeral stuff. I've heard that's good to get together. Yes, that is good. It's only one section in here mm -hmm. is the funeral details. Uh, and, but it's definitely an important section. These are, I don't know if this is morbid, some of my favorite worksheets that I made. Um, <laughs> not sure why. But right, so you go through, right? It's all right laid out. A lot of them, you know, they look like this. They're very... Well designed, pleasant to use. Um, you know, uh, you know. What, what do you want happening with your remains? What do you want going on at the wake? You know, pick your readings, pick your your songs. What song? All do you of want that, to right? Because I know I've had loved ones who've passed away, and I've seen you know my parents or whoever it is trying to figure out the details. They gotta worry about figuring out those details. Mm -hmm. They're busy on the logistics of the thing and kind of wondering, well, is this what they would want? What yeah. did they want? If it can be very clear, it just makes it easier for everybody. Yeah. And, I mean, you get 
what you want happening. Yeah, do you want me to hold this? I'll be a little Vanna White. Hey, can I get a table of, I'll take one table of contents. Yes, Bing. there's a table of contents so that your loved ones could, in five minutes or less, grab hold of this bad boy and know exactly where to go to find the information that they need. Again, no scouring through junk drawers, no f climbing a paper mountain, mm -hmm. um, or, all, or like going through a bunch of dr files in a desk, zip drives, is that what you call them? Yeah. Or whatever. Then the first section is household. Can yeah, so this, this? Is, this runs your household. So certainly this is very helpful in the case of an emergency. It can also just be helpful just as you run your house mm -hmm. as well. So important phone numbers, uh, easy page for that. And then each member of the family gets their own family member record page. Sorry. <laughs> so this talks about you can keep track of sacrament dates, mm -hmm. you know, when they got their first uh, you know, reconciliation or Eucharist, where that was. If you move a lot, that's actually really helpful because you got to find that parish to get the paperwork, paperwork when they get married yep. or whatever it is. And you can do as many of these as there are members of your family. Yeah, you can You print it out yourself. You customize so You can it. print as many as you need. We printed five because we got five of us here. And then we got another hairy guy. So you get a pet record. And this is, again, really helpful. It's one of those details that kind of can get forgotten about in those times of crisis of what's going on, no, what kind of food, where is the food, how often mm -hmm. does he need to go outside, that kind of thing. Which is, is one of those important ones because dogs, unlike humans, they if you just like change up what they eat on a given day, it, you're not going to enjoy the fallout from that. <laughs> so, It'd be something falling out. That's you know, sure. if, you, if a human being just ate something a little different one day, not a big deal. Dogs don't have the same variety, so if we mm -hmm. swap it, it's not pretty. And then you get to capture kind of a weekly plan of, uh, of life. So um, this is not the, the granular, what are you doing on Tuesday at 1037. This is more we, uh, we spend from 7 to 9 in the morning doing homeschool. Or we drop our kids off at this elementary at mm -hmm. 930 or 930. School starts way earlier, doesn't it? That's, yes. a, that's our homeschool schedule. <laughs> Or they've got karate on Tuesday nights, yeah. they go to ballet, Wednesday afternoons, whatever it is, you can capture those details here, as well as your usual uh, routines, right? You can capture information about that bedtime routine that mm. is going to provide that, that, you know, that, that stability, stability, predictability. predictability that's so good uh, for your kids. Yeah, and because if time. they're, you know, kids can't always, they, they might know something is off or stressful or that things aren't necessarily right around the house. Maybe if a parent has been taken to the hospital or passed away. Um, but the most grounding things we can offer our kids is routine. Because that's where they, that's the, the things they can control is being able to latch on to their predictables in any given day. So if someone can pick this up and kind of replicate as closely as possible the rhythms and routines you've set up as a family, that's going to help your kids as much as possible. So uh, Andrea said this resource is a blessing and one we didn't even know we needed, but we do. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Andrea, we're very happy we can provide this for you. Uh, yes. Yeah, just I know it's one of these things that it's going to help now, and it's going to help so much more later on yeah. when it gets used. Yes. All right, next up. The financial information. This is a very key part of, uh, of your life. And your household, so other folks need to f understand what's going on if they're going to help take over. So things like the first thing that we include in here, um, you can use this sheet or just print it off from your your a, a typical monthly budget. You know, every budget's going to look a little different, uh, but this gives somebody a really quick snapshot of what are you doing with your money, where is it going mm -hmm. on in any given month, and what might they need to keep their eyes peeled for in case you're not there or you're in a coma. Mm -hmm. What kind of bills do they need to have their eyes out for, and who are they with? This gives them a really quick overview. Yeah, an overview of your financial life, and then to really make sure those bills don't get missed, the monthly bills and obligations page, you know, this bill's coming out, it's this much, it goes, you know, it's, it is on auto pay, and it's from, you know, the Visa card or from the bank account mm -hmm. or whatever it is. And if it isn't on auto pay, then they, they know how to pay it. And they have the login details on a different area. Yes. Upon um, people experiencing a diagnosis or uh, passing away, oftentimes people will ask, you know, if they can make a, a gift to mm -hmm, any particular mm -hmm. organization or charity they might love in their honor. And so we have a place for you to track who yep. you're supporting. 
Next up is just your list of your assets and your liabilities. Sometimes these aren't as easy as tracking them in like a bank account or on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have an RV, for example, or if you have a T model, what is that called? A Model T model Ford T. in a storage <laughs> shed somewhere. You might want to let your heirs know about that <laughs> or the, the, the key for that uh, Bitcoin wallet from that you filled out, but you started back in college. It's probably worth something. You want to write <laughs> right. those details down so they're yes, not lost. Exactly. And then if you have any, obviously, liabilities, being able to have people look at this will give them the information they need if they have to make decisions about your estate. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll give them a snapshot of kind of where you stand. Yep. And then there's a whole bunch of pages on the different financial accounts. You can put all the information here. Routing Checking. numbers, account numbers, PIN numbers, card numbers, the name of the bank, how to get, you know, talk to the banker, all of that. So we go through this kind Retirement, of... Retirement, you know, brokerages. Yeah, all the different types of accounts you might have. Yep. Uh, there's sheets for these to fill out and, and, and happen. And I always want to point this out. In a number of these different things, you'll see this also when we talk about the insurance uh, policies page. Mm -hmm. There's always, uh, for, for things like this, there's going to be... Uh, it's Some like blanks. Bank accounts. It's back a couple. I thought it was the last page. There we go. There's always like other pages. So there's other bank accounts. So if you have more than there's space for, um, you can just print out some more of these extra. Some more of the other pages. And you can have room for what you need. All right. Next up, there's a space for you to print off and keep the last three years of your tax returns. Yeah. That's just good, good, uh, good recommendation. Mm-hmm. Your insurance policies. So you get a, you can keep your own, you know, print off or make copies of your actual policies and put them in here. But you also have these quick reference sheets. So you can fill out all the information about all your different types of insurance. So whoever is taking care of things can quickly, you know, call the right company, mm -hmm. have the right um, account number, yeah. and take care of things very easily. And again, there's a, there's, some blank ones, mm -hmm. just in case, you know, we can't know every single policy, or maybe you have extended warranties on different items and you want to track that mm -hmm. here too. Maybe That's going to be a place. Eight cars. There you go. Whatever it is. All right, then there's a section for, for uh, legal information. Mm -hmm. This is where you're going to print off the, the HIPAA release form, your will. If you've set up a trust, you're going to just print all that mm -hmm. information off and store it right here in this section. Then, as mentioned earlier, funeral details. The funeral details. Um, so you have your funeral wishes, which is that like, hey, I want the priest to wear purple. I want him to wear black. Whatever it is, um, and the, you know, I want these hymns sung. And then there's the death certificate and obituary pages. And this gets all of your information here. You know, your family information, things about your life. Mm -hmm. They just make it really easy for your loved ones to bring that to wherever they need to go to fill out the death certificate information, the obituary yeah. information. So it kind of just organizes life into these sheets. So it's just an easy, fast thing, right? They don't have to, they can focus on mourning, on grieving, instead of all those logistical details that come together. Mm -hmm. Getting stuck here. And, and, and again, there's two copies as of those. Yeah, you can, you know, oh, let's print five copies of page 23, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. We also just by default uh, include two sets of those, one for each parent in the household. Yeah. And then letters to family and friends, this is where you're going to have kind of those, the opportunity to, what do you want to have those last words to be to your loved ones? You get to capture that, you know, on a good day when you're <laughs> not facing a crisis or imminent death. Mm -hmm. um, and you get to have these and keep them right there for those people to, to read when you're gone. So that'll be a treasured gift as well. Yes. Then there's the other, other section. Goodness gracious. We have a couple. Yeah. We have a couple worksheets in here. Oh, uh, we've got you know login credentials. This is very important. Um, certainly, and one you might never think about to put down in here your phone. How do you get into the phone? Mm -hmm. uh, especially if it's one you know that's looking for your face or something because uh, you know they're looking. Sometimes they look for the eyes that blink and mm -hmm. things like this. You need to know the code too. Uh, so certainly put all those in there. We give a couple sheets for that. There's a people to notify section. Um, you know if something happens, sometimes. You know, maybe you were giving uh, an elderly couple a ride to church on Sundays and nobody else really knows but you and you want to make sure that's captured so they're communicated with. Or you uh, have a coworker that you sit next to and they've not met anybody, you know, in your family, but you would like them to be updated about something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the place you get to track that information. Yep. 
And then there's always the documents not in this binder yeah, section. There's a, ring, a three ring binder or however you choose to bind this thing when you print it out. Uh, isn't the right place for everything, right? It's probably not the best idea to cram your passports in here, or punch extra holes in them or anything. <laughs> uh, you know, there's just some things that just aren't going to fit here or you, you maybe your, car your, title your house or... deed or whatever mm -hmm. that might have been printed on larger paper. Mm -hmm. So you can say, oh, it's in the safety deposit box at the bank. This is this is the combo or here's the key or whatever it is. It's in the fireproof box, which is under the stairs or however it is. Yes, you get to specify and track. If it's not in here, where is it? And you get to detail that information out. And I'm going to tell you this. That page is probably also going to be very helpful for you because I found myself the night before a trip frantically trying to locate the passports. <laughs> Even though I know exactly where they are. You... Yes, you do. So you just forget. If they were written down, they'd be. But yeah, now we have a page where you're going to be able to see perpetually where yeah. they are. They're always in the same spot. It's just like you opening the pantry and being like, <laughs> can't find anything. Where's the baking soda? And then the I giant open orange and look, bag straight in front of your face. And there, it's right there where it's been for three years. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Blend it in. I don't know. But you have a piece of paper now that's going to tell you. Yes. Where it's it's staring you in front mm -hmm. of the face. Yeah. So preparing, you know, for especially if it's unexpected uh, death, making you know making these preparations to make things easier for your loved ones. Mm -hmm. um, we made this binder so that is as pleasant and easy a process as possible. Yeah. And that when people need, need to look at this later. It's as easy and pleasant a process and experience as it can be for them as well. Yep. All right. A few frequently asked questions yes. that have been coming through on email. One, uh, is this exclusively for Catholics? Um, the answer is no. We are a Catholic family, and mm -hmm. so we, we literally put this together based off our family's organizational system. So, yes, that is why it's a reflection of a Catholic family because we are. Um, so if you're another Catholic family, this will fit you right to a T. But I'd say 95% of the mm -hmm. stuff in there uh, you could be altered or modified a little bit. And like you're not, if you are not Catholic, you wouldn't be tracking maybe the sacrament section or perhaps the funeral stuff would be a little mm -hmm. bit different. A little bit. But you'd at least know what information to capture. Mm -hmm. So the sheets could be still pretty useful to you. Uh, so no, I don't think that you have to be Catholic to actually use this or gain benefit from it. Uh, but if you are Catholic, it's going to be right in the same lane, if you will. Absolutely. Okay, uh, when is this sale running? So I mentioned earlier, we are we debuted it yesterday for Black Friday, mm -hmm. and you all have been loving it. It's been a lot of fun to be part of uh, your excitement in finding this resource and in creating it and offering it to you. We are going to now extend it to be part of Cyber Monday, too. We were going to roll out something different, but... You guys love this so much. We're just going to say goodbye to the thing we were thinking about. And we're just going to keep this going because you guys want it. Um, and we want to get it into the hands of as many people as it can bless. Because if we can give you this resource and it helps you have peace, uh, and then ultimately when it's used, it echoes peace. We want to be part of that legacy for you. Yeah, so normally it's tw it's $39 uh, for for. The sale period, it's 25% off, so 10 bucks off. So that brings it down to 29 bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to so, run till Tuesday. Yep. And again, it's the digital download. You download this, you print it out, you fill it out, and you can bind it however you want. You can print as many copies of certain pages as you want, or you can not print certain pages if you don't need them. So it's ultra customizable in the format that we bring it to you in. Yes. Uh, oh, you just took a couple of the questions. Off my I can't sheet even there. see the questions. I know, but you just you you knocked off two of them. Hey, look at uh, that! And then somebody did ask, you know, could I DIY my own version of this? And I resounded back with like a, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're the type of person that wants to sit down and dedicate hours upon hours to crafting your own, yeah, you can absolutely do yes. that. We don't own it, a patent on writing down information for your loved ones. We did make a pretty nice, pretty version of it. Right, but it took to Jonathan is a professional graphic designer, and it took him about 15 hours to get this where <laughs> it is. So, if you're not a professional graphic designer, uh, and you have 20 hours to kill, okay, do the math on the hourly rate there. 20 for those people that want a convenient thing to be available to download right away, 
It's already all thought through. You don't have to recreate the wheel. It's just here for you. It's going to be a time save, a sanity save. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you don't have to sit down and design everything. The $29 deal is perfect for you. If you are somebody who wants to control everything and carefully, nittily, grittily take care of all the little details and you want to put 50 hours into this, this is not for you. But I'd say 90% of people, maybe 99% of people, <laughs> this is for you. You just want it done and it doesn't really matter if you didn't get to perfect every little tiny Pick which detail. color the icons are. Right, right. Most people don't care about that. They just care about getting this finished. Mm -hmm. And that's really the important thing here is that you get it finished. So if this is something that would strain you financially, yeah, do the best you can. Um, but we tried to make this a really, really fair deal. Mm -hmm. Again, he put 15 hours into it. So if you had 15 hours of your own time, is $29 a good return for that? It's a really strong, a very strong return. $2 an hour. Yes. We wanted this to be Didn't even get any very tips. easy. Very easy <laughs> for families to decide on this and to make it, squeeze it into their budget. So mm -hmm. anyway, um, if you have any other questions, email at walletwin.com is mm -hmm. where you can reach us. Yep. Or if you go to the page to pick this up, walletwin.com slash emergency. There's a little burp chat guy in the corner. We're there. And if you chat, if you type into there, you'll be type chatting with one of us. You will be. All right. Bye for now, everybody.